हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू दी पीडियट्रिक्स पॉइंट दी अल्टीमेट रिविजन प्रोग्राम इन द सब्जेक्ट ऑफ पीडियट्रिक्स टूडेज डिस्कशन टॉपिक इज शॉर्ट स्टेचर नाउ इन दी शॉर्ट स्टेचर बेसिकली यू नीड टू रिमेंबर टू फिजोलॉजिकल कॉजेस वन इज द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल डिले इन द ग्रोथ एंड प्यूबर्टी दैट इज सी डी जी पी एंड अनदर इज द फेमिलियल शॉर्ट स्टेचर द मोमेंट वी से द फिजोलॉजिकल कॉजेस दैट मीन्स द ग्रोथ हार्मोन लेवल्स आर नॉर्मल हियर इफ यू कंसिडर इन सी डी जी पी द बर्थ लेंथ इज नॉर्मल बट इन फेमिलियल शॉर्ट स्टेचर द बर्थ लेंथ इज डिक्रीज बोथ पेरेंट्स आर नॉर्मल इन हाइट इन सी डी जी पी बट यूजली वन और बोथ पेरेंट्स इज शॉर्ट इन दी फेमिलियल शॉर्ट स्टेचर now cdgp as the name indicates there is not only delay in growth there is also delayed puberty seen so you get here puberty is delayed but here there is normal puberty how to make a diagnosis of cdgp the family history is important and you should get a family history of delayed growth or puberty in one or both the parents that's a very very important clue which you should look in the mcqs history of delayed growth or puberty in one or both the parents but here no such history is seen if you see the relation between the bone age and the chronological age in cdgp the bone age is less than chronological age but in familial short stature ba is equal to ca if you consider cdgp the ultimate or final height is normal here we say the ultimate or final height is short so this was in short the differentiation between the cdgp and the familial short stature now considering the two endocrinal causes of the short stature one is the growth hormone deficiency and one is the hypothyroidism so if you see again here the birth length is normal and so the important thing you should remember growth hormone has no role in the intrauterine period but here you say the birth length is usually normal although in the uterine in, in intrauterine period skeletal growth depends upon the thyroxine but birth length is usually normal rate of growth in childhood is decreased in both now the most important point which is used to differentiate in the growth hormone deficiency there is proportionate dwarfism that means upper segment lower segment ratio will be according to the age but here infantile body proportions are seen that means this proportionate dwarfism and to be more specific upper segment is more than lower segment puberty is delayed in the growth hormone deficiency here the puberty is normal delayed or even pseudo precocious why pseudo precocious tsh level increases to that much level that it can stimulate the receptor of fsh so tsh stimulating the receptor of fsh this will lead to the pseudo precocious puberty and in both of them the bone age is less than the chronological age then moving on to the chromosomal disorders associated with the short stature there are the four chromosomal disorders which you should remember one is the down syndrome turner syndrome noonan syndrome and prader willi syndrome and in the down syndrome overall if you consider it is the most common chromosomal disorder associated with growth retardation most common chromosomal disorder associated with growth retardation and in the turner syndrome the most common clinical feature is the short stature remember this four chromosomal disorders of the short stature then is the calculation of the mid parental height in the girls we say father's height plus mother height and both you take in centimeters divided by 2 minus 6.5 cm and in the boys you say father's height plus mother height both again in the centimeters plus sorry divided by 2 plus 6.5 cm so this was the brief revision of the topic of short stature if you are liking the series please do like and comment and do subscribe to the channel thanks